wake up with a gangster lean. I got my cap twisted and my swag is clean, yo. I'm a big winning like a YOLO. Sip and fro, yo, solo. But you already know that. One, two, three, get the flow. All the honeys buzz down. Jump around, let's go now, bro. I'm not letting you spend another Friday night alone in that sadness romper. It is not a romper. It is a harem jumpsuit. Bert broke up with you over two months ago, and you need to get out. Mm. At least get some D. Alexandra! Why don't we order you a swipe right then? That's a drink for $28? If you loosen up a little bit, then maybe some gentleman over here will offer to buy you a drink. Why would he do that? Because you're fun and you're flirty. Yeah. Oh my god, just... Follow my lead. Ugh. Damn, Han Rolo, you were right. I feel phenomenal. I told you. Best way I know to work through emotional block is just to dance like no one watching. Hey, boys. Sweet moves. Thanks. We're celebrating five. Dancing is one of the most primal forms of human expression. Hmm. Oh, hey, you wanna buy us some drinks? But not just like one of you buy us both drinks because that's not fair. But I also, not one drink to share either because like it's like two grown women sharing a drink with one straw, like no thank you. Um, oh my God. Yo girl, I feel what you're putting down. Hey, bartender, four swipe rights please. So uh, what are you mademoiselles doing in this fine establishment? We were just thinking that it was time for a fun night out. Are you guys fun? Yo, we're mad fun, That's girl. right, like a trip in July. To, to Knott's Berry Farm. <laughs> oh my God, that is super fun. And they have the best boysenberry jam. Yo, I love toast. Well then, how about the four of us to see where the night takes us? Ooh, our apologies. I'm afraid we're both on the shelf. What? Right? We're going through an existential crisis, and although going home with you would probably be epically stimulating, you're probably fierce as hell at the cuddling. It's probably not a healthy choice for me, from an emotional standpoint. Mm. What about you? My friend thinks you're so hot. But like reasonably hot though, not like, oh my God, I can't talk to you because I'm so intimidated by your face. You're reasonably average, above average, slightly above average. Um, she just found out that her ex has moved on and she really needs someone to help her forget. Could you maybe help her get her mind off that fact? Listen, girl, I understand your pains more than you know. And while I'm flattered by your request, almost as much as those heels be flattering those toned leggies of yours. Ooh, for real. I must politely decline. You both deserve to be in the best headspace possible. That way you don't do something you might later regret. Hold up, privilege check. Don't you find it a bit condescending to rob a grown ass woman of her agency by implying that you know what's best for her? I'm not denying her the ability to engage in casual playtime. I'm just withdrawing from what could be emotionally injurious behavior. True that. Please continue. So might I suggest that the two of you perhaps find some time to decompress. Maybe a trip to the Joshua Trees. Experience sunrise yoga, practice meditation. Or you can find us online at uh, Tweet Your Bros or Grostagrams in about four to six weeks, at which time we can reconvene and see where we're all at spiritually. We gotta bounce, homie. We got the gym tomorrow. We don't need any residual vodka sweat. That's a fact, and I cannot wait to up my stretching game. Flexibility! <laughs> what the fuck? So... No dick? That was fail proof. You promised dick. I'm, well, this, well, maybe we can. In four to six weeks. <laughs>